All of the Jamboards are linked here in this Google Slides presentation. So you can use this clickable table of contents to go to the right Jamboard, or you can scroll down on the left-hand side and look through the Jamboards this way. I'm going to use the clickable table of contents. I'll click on question of the day, the second one here, and I'm going to click the link that appears below. This is going to take me to the slide that has three different Jamboard templates on it. I'm going to click on the first one and I'll click the Jamboard link that appears below it. This is going to open in Jamboard after I click make a copy. Now that the Jamboard is open, I'm going to edit it. You can see that I've added the question of the day. Every Jamboard comes with two frames. So if you click expand frame bar at the top of the screen, you're going to see that this Jamboard appears two times. Now you might have your students all work on the first frame of this Jamboard and that's great. You might also want half of your students to work on frame one and half of your students to respond on frame two. And that's completely up to you. Every Jamboard includes two frames just in case you want. Now, if you do use two frames, just make sure that you write the question of the day on that second frame as well. When you're ready to share the Jamboard with your students, you're gonna click share in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. You're gonna click change to anyone with the link at the bottom. And then you're gonna click on the down arrow next to viewer and change it to editor. This way, all of your students can respond in this Jamboard. Now you can click copy link and you can paste this link in a Zoom chat or on your Google Meet. You can also paste this link right in your Google Classroom stream. So if I click add on my stream and I click link, I can just paste that link right here for my students. I can also create an assignment for my students and add the link this way. I'm going to add the link here. Now, if you do create it this way, you want to click the down arrow next to students can view file and make sure and click students can edit file. That way they're all working in the same Jamboard. Go ahead and click assign and you're all set to go.